Hello, we will present to you tool CloudBeast Software Delivery Automation known as CDRO which automates software deployment. Solution offers full analytics that allow to track whole release, find bottlenecks and implement improvements in the process. All processes of building application, deployment and automatic tests can be done using this single and flexible platform using reusable pipelines. We cannot only automate application release. CloudBees offers as well tools for measurement and analytics for every step of this process. It doesn't matter how big is your environment and what technologies are used. This helps to improve the whole process and reduce costs. Today we would like to present you a sample pipeline created for our lab purposes. What you can see here is our pipeline. This is a representation of the whole deployment process in the single view. We can start this pipeline as well automatically using, for example, automatic push to the repository, which contains some extra parameters that can be used for our pipeline. We can do this as well from the Jira software or like in our example, we can start it manually. Right now, our pipeline is creating new object in Jira. This object contains the main task and the subtasks. Keys of those tasks are then assigned to particular variables using our Groovy script. The next step is the manual acceptance step. This step can be executed as well from the GUI of this whole pipeline, from the My Work tab that contains all acceptance steps that can be done by our user and as well using the email notification that contains proper buttons. In the next stage, we are preparing Docker images that then can be deployed to the Kubernetes environment. We are using for this task CloudBeast CI, which is the enterprise version of the Jenkins and part of the CloudBeast solution. You can use for those tasks other tools like TeamCity or Bamboo or other tools of your choice. If you would like to do such tasks like building your images directly from CloudBeast CD, not using CloudBeast CI, it is as well possible. To speed up potential troubleshooting process, all logs as well those that came from CloudBeast CI can be viewed directly from CloudBeast CD. Thanks to Jira integration, we can present all states of our release directly in the Jira tool. So if you don't want to log into CloudBeast CD directly and see what the step of this release is right now performed or if there are any issues during this release, you can do that directly from the Jira itself. Another great option how to keep your team informed during the release is integration with solutions like Microsoft Teams or Slack. As you can see here, you can see all notifications live directly inside the tool. In the background, new stage has started. During this stage, we will see deployment of our newly built Docker images to the URIF environment. This uh, this deployment is done directly in CloudBeast CD using built-in plugins and our Docker images will be deployed directly to Kubernetes environment. The next step is manual confirmation step. We'll confirm it right now and we'll move to the CloudBeast CI and we'll present you how our functional tests are done. What you can see right now is our Jenkins pipeline that is responsible for performing our tests. Our tests are written in JUnit and Selenium framework. The first step is downloading test code from the Bitbucket repository directly to the machine that will run our tests. We are creating as well user that will run those tests and finally performing the test itself. After the tests are finished, we are generating Surfire report. This report then is then it is used to create error report, test link report, and Jira plugin test flow report as well. During our pipeline, we are as well preparing our Java doc documentation that is done directly based on the code of those tests. This documentation then be can reviewed from the Jenkins site.
If we move to the Jira test flow dashboard that presents result of our test, we can see that all steps of our test went fine. We see this by the green color that indicates that all steps are fine. If mm, particular step is unstable, the color can be yellow and if test fail, the color will be red. Our functional tests are done right now. What we are waiting for is manual step on the exit gate of this stage. Exit gates can be as well automatic and manual and those steps are used to confirm that all steps inside our stage were fine. Without this confirmation we can go further and uh, do releases to mm, another environment. The next step of our pipeline is deploying application to the RF environment. This is the same deployment that was done on the previous environment using the same images that was built on the initial part of our release. The next step after this deployment is manual confirmation that all steps of those deployment went fine. So before those steps in general we can check our application manually if it's run fine, if everything is okay. The next step is sending notification to the teams what was as well presented in the previous stage. Uh, as well we are see, uh, we see that uh, we sent confirmation to the Jira that our deployment weren't fine. The next step is creating Dynatrace configuration. This is done by another pipeline that is connected to our main pipeline. This is one of the examples how we can simplify our solution and how we can reuse our and other pipelines in the main flow. So we can prepare, for example, deployment of our applications in the single pipelines and then combine them to make the deployment of the whole solution to the large environment. In this example, we are preparing some simple configuration in Dynatrace. The next step is running our load tests itself. We are running them using JMeter. After the tests are finished, we are confirming our load test execution directly in the JMeter. Results of those load tests can be validated in Dynatrace that is implemented of our application. After that, we are collecting some metrics related to the application performance and the amount of failures directly from the Dynatrace API. This then can be used as an automatic quality gate to determine if our load tests are went fine or not. As you can see here, we finished our deployment on the URF environment and RF environment. We've done our functional tests and load tests as well. What we have to do right now is deployment on the production environments. All of those steps are done on the single pipeline, as you can see here. After the successful deployment to the production environment, we'll send the confirmation to the Microsoft Teams. We'll update our object in the Jira to close the step, uh, the subtask. And then in the post step stage, we will close the Jira change object itself and send final notification that everything went fine and we can close this release. As I mentioned in the beginning, our solution contains as well some tools to measure steps of our releases and determine if this particular instance of release went fine or was slower or quicker than the baseline that was done by previous releases.